Welcome to the SAT Word Power 2. Let's get this started right now. We have 10 words and, well, 8 of them are nouns, 1 of them is a verb, and 1 of them is an adjective. Welcome, world, to a life of discovering vocabulary words. What the? <laughs> okay, right now we have, well, number one. Our first word is attrition, which is a noun that basically means to, well, make something less of, to have something into the kinds of like this. Let me show you. In fact, let me show you right now. It's basically a gradual reduction. Let's say you have these uh, mini figures. And then if you're going to go through an attrition by them because of like some compression or something, this guy will disappear, and then this guy will disappear next, and then this guy will be the only one left. And that's basically attrition for you. It's basically a noun that basically means to gradually reduce something, a gradual reduction. Now, number two, it's edification, which is a noun that does, has nothing to do with the meaning of edification, but edification actually means to enlighten yourself, to learn more about something. That's what edifi ed edification means. And you remember edification with ed on vacation. Now, speaking of which, I didn't speak of like, the phrase for attrition and fishing like this. You remember attrition and with the fishing like this. When you're fishing too much, oh, fishing can do some attrition to the fish populations. And for number two, your phrase, ed, ed did some edification did some edification to himself while he was on vacation. We need to read a lot of good books during vacation. Number three, it's ablution, which is a noun that does nothing to do with solution, but ablution, well, ablution. It has nothing to do with lution as in K-L though. And ablution, well, it's actually a verb that, uh, it's actually a noun called cleansing. That's at least what it means, let me show you. Let's say this, is water and so an ablution would be cleansing with this water usually sometimes you use it more in the likes of holy water but that's basically what this all means and so that's how you remember uh, and so you remember ablution with solution like this the solution to the ablution of a baby meaning the solution to how to keep a baby clean number four which is a word called elocution it's a noun that basically means well, basically means a very long speech. Whether that speech is something or not, I'm not really sure of. And elocution is basically making a really, really, really long speech. Uh, usually, elocution is a really useful way to postpone your execution. Elocution is to postpone your execution. Oh, there we go. Now, so remember elocution was execution. Number five, it's rive, which is a verb that basically means to try to wriggle free of something. Or like twist, make something twist or turn. That's what ride means. And so you remember ride with ride. And so how do you remember ride with ride anyway? This is how you do it. Let me show you right now. In fact, this guy will try to ride out free of me. Okay. Watch this. He's trying to ride free. Claude is trying to ride free. Ride basically means to try to wriggle free or something. And sometimes it's a success, sometimes it isn't. And ride, because it actually has nothing to do with ride, to be honest. When you're riding free of this roller coaster ride, that's what you actually remember it from. At least that's how I remember it. You ride free from the ride. You imagine a guy trying to get free of his seatbelt on a car that's in the roller coaster. Number six, it's a pedestrian. And a pedestrian is an adjective that basically means by foot. Pedestrian it also means a noun of someone walking along. So you remember pedestrian with pedestrian. Easy as pie. Pedestrian, pedestrians. Walking walkers. Number seven, it's a carrion, which is a noun that basically means dead or rotting body. That's what carrion basically means. It means carry and the dead body. So you remember carrion with carry on. Lots of carrions and more carry on lots of the helmets and accessories of war battles. Number eight, pinion, which is a noun. It basically means to enclose something, to capture something, or to do something to the wings so that they can fly, if you have wings, that is. So pinions, or pins. You can pinion the bird's wings by using pins. Number nine, kismet, which is a noun that basically means fate, destiny, or at Sauron's, 
in the Cardinal Sea, we call it Star Story. Kismet. You remember Kismet? You have Kiss Me. Now, Kiss Me, baby, it's a Kismet. That's how SAT vocabulary words say you remember it, but I'm not sure I like it like, it like that. So, Kiss Me, it's Kismet. That's how you work it. And number nine, I'm number ten, it's ambivalence, which is a noun that basically means indecision. If usually this could be life threatening because if two ambulances arrive at the scene and because of the ambivalence on which one they should send to was send the patient into, that could cost the patient's life. The ambivalence ambulances could kill the patient they're trying to save. So yeah. Ten words. We're done with today's SAT word power. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and I hope to see you guys do it again in another Hamchon Chon episode. Next time, Shanan out. Peace.